What is going on, guys? Welcome to episode six of my Wolves Football Manager 2018 Let's Play series with the new update, Wolves in the Premier League. If you're enjoying this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you're new around here, especially, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to be seeing more and turn on notifications, the little bell if you haven't done so yet to make sure uh, you see my videos for sure uh, most of the time. Anyway, but we're just going to head straight into this first match against Leicester. I'll show you what games we have. We've got Chelsea after that. So yeah, they're going to be two games that are at home, but they're going to be big for two different reasons. Chelsea will be a tough one, but Leicester for me, this is, this is a must win at this point. And right now, Cardiff, they've won two. Will there be their last two in a row? Let's take a look. Let's take a look because they're one of the, they're, they won the last West Ham Newcastle. That is huge. That is huge for them because that's something I want to try and do. Well, we got a we got a win and a draw so far, but uh, yeah, obviously for these newly promoted teams in uh, this data update, uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. Anytime they get wins, that's good. So this means like we have to be picking up a win somewhere as well. I was a bit disappointed we couldn't beat Watford. We went really close. Arsenal was tough. Uh, that is for sure. Uh, yeah, we'll head into the team selection. I just want to show you guys that we picked up an injury. I say we picked up injury, was international duty for Rahul Jimenez. Uh, maximum now is three weeks away. So it's not like a huge injury, but for the short term, it is a bit of a concern because we're going to be starting Leo Bonatini and he hasn't really completely starred, but to be fair, he hasn't gotten a chance. He's doing well in training, so that's a good thing. Uh, we just, uh, yeah, he doesn't strike me as a strong Premier League striker. That's just a fact. Uh, he'll be pretty solid in the championship with those attributes. I'd say he's pretty well-rounded for a championship team. But Premier League, I'm not sure if he can get it done. So uh, we'll have to see what he can uh, what he can do in this match. But I, th I, still think, uh, I still think the wingers have to provide <laughs> most of the danger. And Alfred Ndiaye, I don't mind, I don't mind him. He's better ball winning midfielder, but I don't like ball when I want... Uh, when I want a defensive, because they push up, uh, they push up, try and win the ball back. Uh, I prefer a defensive midfield role. So I just got to check what I'm training him on right now. He's on loan from Villarreal, so we're training him that because it's his best role. But we'll try and train him a defensive midfield. That's one of his next best anyway. So if you keep that in mind. And let's see, he's, he's 28. Okay, yeah, when players get a bit older, I don't worry with that, like training them additional attribute because sometimes they get disappointed. Oh, yeah, mad. It's like too much training. So. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Romain Saiz, he's not too bad, though. Let me know who you would be starting. But this is a very important match for us. Like, Leicester, another team that's not doing that great. Uh, so, we have to we have to try and get a get a result from this. Minimum, minimum point. We want to be picking up points. And uh, you can see the strength in our squad. Oh, I can't forget. I can't forget. There is a big new signing. Not a transfer within the style. Maybe you think it's big. Like, his attributes aren't crazy. It's more his name. So, if we go to staff, we have signed Gary Neville as a coach. He's got that 15 for defending standard, determination 18. So, he's got some good attributes, obviously, uh, that Spain um, um, experience. Not long term, but well, Villarreal. Uh, but yeah, if you go, even if you go to history, it doesn't show his stats. It just shows his like Manchester United career. But if you go to milestone, it shows yeah Valencia as manager. But there's like no kind of information <laughs> uh, there for him. But anyway, guys, obviously short term, uh, short term period. He didn't last long. <laughs> uh, but guys. Uh, what I did want to say about him, if we go into the training, with that 15, 15 for defending and we go into the coaches, yeah, we select him there and he's our strongest defend uh, defensive coach. Let me know what you think about the setup there. It was normally just like assist, like uh, I asked the assistant to assign it. So, yeah, and then, then I leave it. Let me know what changes you'd make though and if that contributes. But uh, that's pretty much it and we'll just go all the way back and we'll head into this match with the line I'm just like what do you guys think about the guys that haven't gotten a chance yet like someone like a Roderick Miranda at center back doesn't seem outstanding then Courtney House as well who's a bit younger he's injured at the moment and Ben Marshall I just don't feel they're they're up to up to quality at the moment uh, honestly so we are just going to head in uh, with this side guys also Matt Doherty recently got the first Irish call up in his in the save so that's good for him uh, then because he's been one of the better players especially in defense like 6.94 rating 
is not bad for a team you'd say is struggling. But I think, you know, I keep saying our style we're playing is not too bad. We just need to be, like, if we had a better quality of player, like, we would be getting better results because you've seen we're playing a good style. So it just we need to take our chances and defend better. That's the case. That's what lets us down when you look closely into it. So we're going to say... Oh, I expect to see much better performances today, that is for sure. Uh, obviously, Arsenal was always going to be tough. We actually competed with them, though. First half around, yeah, it was not too bad. But, yeah, the absence of Rio Jimenez, we've looked good in training. So, yeah, we'll say that. Just, I never like to be too negative when they say a negative thing or question me with it. I don't like to be too negative actually about it. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to focus on the positives, and I feel that's the best response to go with additionally so let's hop into this one guys and let me know if you are liking i do prefer to play in extended highlights oh we may get a goal here because especially for a team like wolves like if you're a big team winning a lot of games maybe to get through them quicker you don't play an extender just key but yeah so you can see your mistakes and so you can rectify that more specifically uh, when you're playing on the extended highlights, you can see where you do well and where you do uh, poorly at the same time. But Andre, Andre, hasn't he been good? Oh, look at that! Diogo Jota, otherwise known as Silva. Let me know what you sh would be... Pref oh! I might not need to worry about ca calling his name at the moment because that's another injury. And to someone who could play striker, I thought if Bonatini's not playing well... Oh, maybe he tried a bit too much because now we're in a bit of trouble. We we are actually we are actually in a lot of trouble. Cavalero, we're gonna we're gonna look to bring him on. I feel, yeah, because he's right footed. He can play that exact same role, and you can see hundred percent natural for position and role duty, all that. So, bit disappointed because he started the save injured uh, Diogo, and now he's got an injured. So that's not good. Douglas, he's got to do something. He's got good crossing, but he doesn't put a ball in. But Andre, Andre is like, oh, come on. We need to utilize your crosses. Go on, Ruben Neves. Go so close. And we could have uh, taken that early lead here, which would have been very, very nice. You can see we're controlling possession here. And you can see a chance could come. Ruben Neves. Neves. you got to compose yourself. Don't just blast the shot like that. Like, oh, I, I feel we just even rushed the shot. Oh, come on. Go. Bonatini, oh, smart ball, and right into Cavalera, didn't have to break stride, and Hal Da Costa had to finish that, but you know, Schmeichel, he's a good keeper, and he makes the save, we really should have, this should be 1-0 right now, that's the problem, like, like I just talked about, heading into the match, that quality, like, in another situation, this should be 1-0, right now, and... That's a similar situation it should be in the match. You feel me? So I feel a bit disappointed. And we can't use that as an excuse, of course, but it's just a little something that's frustrating. Andre, Andre. Because we are playing good football, as you can see. Look at the chances being created. Helder Costa. Ruben Neves. Oh, my God. What? He's had a few chances as well. I told you that Mazala on attack, he, he gets forward, looks dangerous, and just man I'm just we have to create all these chances just to score a goal <laughs> to get the one and now Doherty he's playing with so much confidence but that cross wasn't the best uh from him he's been one of the more impressive players that's what I mean we've had a few players that have been uh, pretty impressive to me this season so that's really good uh or Brighton now Slimani out wide I don't mind him I feel we can defend that and we do again uh for a low percentage shot force them to take a shot from there um I, i'm happy what we've restricted leicester with because if you can again compare you think they would have better players <laughs> but we're doing well to compete they've come a long way from winning the premier league That's, oh but, but like we say oh they've come a long way but the opposite way <laughs> like struggling now uh, not getting better but now Oh, come on. Like, this is disappointing. I'm disappointed we don't have a lead. I'm disappointed we don't have a lead right now. I think we deserve it. Like, up until this point in the game, let me know what you think. Here, uh, 36, 37th minute. Yeah, let me know. Like, do you think we deserve a goal right now, man? Come on. I think we do. Maybe we can get it now. Surely, this has to be the one. <laughs> come on. We already got Jota injured, so... We need... Oh, what a ball! He he didn't... Like, he couldn't miss that. 
Leo couldn't miss that because that ball was crazy. That was crazy, man. Take a look at this. Doherty, right, really, like, he's on another level. And Bottatini did well to time his run there as well, not to be offside. So he's good, his positioning in terms of that, if we look to analyze his attributes. Like, he's off the ball 14. I don't think, yeah, positioning is not relevant. But in terms of the attributes... Um, that are related to making your runs as a forward. Definitely off the ball is important, but his general positioning. I know positioning, that's more for defending. It's that's You can see there to read a situation, maneuver themselves into best position, uh, but it just doesn't show that it's something important. If you take a look at all striker attributes, yeah, positioning, even for poacher, positioning isn't covered. So I, th I think anticipation, anticipation is it more. Players' ability to predict them, react to events going on. Yeah, I, I really think that that's it. Maybe they're off the ball movement, obviously, when they're not in possession of the ball, and anticipation, when to make that run. So that's important. But how good has Doherty been? He's 26, so he's not a guy that's going to improve or something like that. And you look at his attributes. If I just look at attributes like this of a player, I wouldn't look to sign them. But, man, he off his performances. That's why I like... Because if it is real life, players don't have numbers of their ability. You know, what I, you, you know what I mean? It's what you see on the training pitch and on game day. And what we've seen from that, and that's another... Like I talked about in FM19, there should be a feature where you can see your players train, like in 3D like this, or even if you want to play in 2D, but that physical like or yeah, graphical representation of how your players are trained. So you can actually watch them, opposed to getting reports. You know what I mean? But... Yeah, like still, he's absolutely fantastic of what I've seen. If what I've seen, I actually, uh, I, I can't remember when I did it, but it would have been a few years back. I downloaded this kind of, I don't know what it, what you would actually call it, but it made players where you couldn't, oh, here he is again. They're combining. Oh, Leo and Matt doing so well. And 2-0, yeah. This is the result. Like, But looking back, earlier chances we had in the half, maybe it could be 3 or 4-0. But yeah, what I said, um, what I did, there was this thing you could download. Uh, someone made it uh, where you could have like, the player's attributes don't show. So you just judge off their reports and everything like that. They've got a couple injuries at the moment, so it's not going too well. Yeah, so that was a really, really interesting thing I did. I didn't, wasn't long term or anything, but yeah, it was just really different. But it's more a realistic thing, like in real life. But I guess because it's a game, you kind of need those. You need the numbers to tell the ability of players. But yeah, um, if it like, like I'm just saying, if it was judged off that, uh, yeah, Doherty's having a very good season, uh, right up there with one of our better, better signings. Oh. Did you see that? How old Acosta? See, he's just got that extra flair about him. And can we make it three? Ivan Cavallero. Oh, my God. It was Ivan. <laughs> Ivan or Ivan? Either way. Man. And Ruben Neves to Bonatini. And then Cavallero with the blasting strike. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise because Diego Jota has just gone. <laughs> He's picked up an injury. So what injury does it say? Potential knee. That doesn't... Knee injuries can be very, very lengthy. So yeah, my boy Cavallero, you've got you've to step up potentially. He's part of the Portuguese ranks, and he looks like he can be... He's got that flair as well, dribbling. Not bad. That was from 11 finishing. Um, so, that was... What, this has been our best half so far. And there could be another goal. Because there's plus three added time. It started when there was about a minute left. As long as we don't concede... Really, mate. This has been a half and a half, if that makes sense. Like, you know, when you say, oh, this has been a game and a half, like you've played so well. It's This has been a half and a half because we haven't finished the match yet. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but we are going to say, we can only praise them from here. Ooh, what a game from Bonatini, though. He's had a hand in every, or I should say foot, uh, <laughs> in every goal. He's been so good. And yeah, Doherty's got the two assists and uh, all I just have is praise right now. There can't be anything else. I can say for the team and Leicester 
They got Yaya Toure. How's he looking? Oh my god, I'm a bit scared. Look how good Yaya Toure is. And if you take a look at his lowest attributes, like you might say, oh, he's a bit slower now. It's, it's not anything too depleting compared to the rest of his attributes. So, this is... We've got to be careful. Yaya, he can do anything. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, he's going to be a player they're going to have to utilize sparingly. Obviously, that's why he didn't start. But they know they're in trouble right now. But they had injuries. But Douglas... Ooh, that's going to be that's going to be a corner kick, and we're going to take that. So hopefully, we can score. No, it's going to be a counter for them. But Doherty positioned so well, man. Uh, Bonatini will probably go on to be the player of the match, but he'll go close. And Zoe, we're just we're just killing it right now, and I'm so happy we've had a performance like this. And not against, like I said, uh, another team that's newly promoted like ourselves in this database. But Le Leicester, a team that won the Premier League just a couple seasons ago now. So that's what I mean. It's like, this is a great performance. Obviously, they're not the same level they were. So we've got to say that if we're saying, oh, we beat a team that won the Premier League. But hey, it's still the fact. We still got to go out and win it. We got to hold on. We can't... We can't really just get a bit too complacent here, even though I didn't say that, but I still want the players to focus. Oh my god, guys. I can feel something happening. <laughs> I can feel something happening. You know how it goes. Uh, obviously, we've already made one change uh, from the injury to Jota. Uh, Ru Ruben Nevers actually hasn't had a great game. So here we're going to be a bit more responsible and we're going to bring on another defensive type. As good as, as good as he's been, we just, yeah, so he's, we're going to play with two DMs and see now we can utilize this a bit more. Andre, Andre, I don't know why I have him in the ball in the midfield. That's not even his best role. It's just been how we've been playing. So I'd rather just leave him roaming playmaker, I think. And then Saiz, uh, we can have deep line playmaker on defend and then Ndai, uh, ball winning midfielder on support. I feel that mixes the roles. Uh, pretty well in central midfield if you got that one centimeter two dms and those specific roles and duties i think that fits it really really well guys and we can continue to really play mostly mostly the same style because i don't want to go defensive at home no i mean but uh let's take up work the ball into the box and just be a bit more direct uh slightly deeper even sit deeper now where we don't want to put the tempo normal I still, I want to get that balance of still being a bit responsible defensively, but I don't want to go defensive, you know what I mean? So just still sit back. Even even that, that's not too bad. I haven't experimented it with, you know, when I go on defense, a defensive and I still want to counter. Yeah, just a mix of that. Uh, if we play on standard, but sit back a bit more and we just play a bit more direct, opposed to keeping possession, uh, see how something like that uh, will go for us. Because I don't, I don't want to let them have a chance easily, and because of that, also, yeah, we don't, we don't have the offside, offside trap on, obviously. But yeah, this, this is all in Leicester's hands. Like they've got to do something here. See, forcing that shot from range, that was it. That's what it really does, getting the players back. And oh, good tackle, oh, man. We just we're on point today. No real negatives that we've done apart from the injury but that's not something you do <laughs> bad obviously uh, it's not something great for us but here we go again cavalero he's got a decent strike on him and again it's a surprising thing off his attributes like technique is probably what is what doing is what <laughs> is what is doing it but uh yeah it, it looks like a decent level of player and now bonatini He's got to do something, surely. Oh, that has to be okay. It's a good tackle. I mean, if he didn't get the ball, that surely had to be a red from behind. Like, I mean, that's like a dangerous tackle to attempt and to execute is uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. So, well done in that situation. But we just win the ball back once more. And Tai, ah, you should have passed that. We should have passed that. Hopefully, you don't concede. They're going to hit us quickly on the break. Oh, Patricio makes the saves when he needs to. Very, very good to see there. And now we're going to push on. Bonatini. See, he's not the exactly type of player you want to be, like, running at the defense. I don't think he I don't think he really has the skill to do that dribbling and, and the pace. But, 
yeah, hey, good enough, good enough. And one more one more sub we can make. I think at this point, whew, there's, there's a lot of players... See, someone like a Jordan Graham, I feel we need to get some game time into. We may need to utilize him. That is the situation where he's got a bit of potential in him. Uh, but then it's a case where, like, Matt Doherty has played his heart out. Only 68% now. He's lowest. It's like I want to give Jordan Graham a chance, but he had the best sub, I think, to make is Dominic uh, E. Orford to come on, put on defensive fullback, and Barry Douglas. Uh, I'll, I'll drum back to support, maybe. As <laughs> I drop him back, but yeah, and that will be that will be it for the game. And I've been as happy this half uh, for us holding on to a clean sheet. So this is along with one of our best, like if not our best attacking performance. It's at the same time our best defensive performance. I say we've been so good, both the chances like we've created and with Leicester they haven't had so many. So it's not just they're missing chances. Oh yes. We didn't want to concede there. But as a whole, what, they've had three shots on target. I think that might be the least for us out of all our Premier League matches so far. So that is something huge. And it makes you think, Andre, Andre, oh my God, what a strike. But it makes you think the injury to Raihu Jimenez, do we have a better setup with Bonatini? Or is this is, is it just this one match? Hey, I don't know. Uh, Willie Bolly's had a great game as well. So it's something you put into consideration. He's he's done really well here, uh, but it's a great team performance. When you play well, obviously your striker is going to you have those opportunities, but he does get the player of the match to his name. Uh, but definitely respectable performance. Uh, mention, uh, yeah, give, uh, give a big mention to Matt Doherty once again. What, what a performance. And I'm not disappointed we didn't go on to score more in the second half because the job was done so we did the other side of it make sure we held on to the lead not conceding is equally as important so absolutely class performance and i knew yeah knee ligaments like a knee injury wasn't going to be a short short one for sure especially for stuff like that so yeah while he is injured we're going to have to just yeah take off all those put on none intensity level light it'll be good if you can choose none if they're injured but obviously, he wouldn't be training anyway, so it's both ways. But I, that's what I like to do when they're injured anyway, even though they don't train. But what a performance. What a performance by Leo Bonatini. So, <laughs> I think... Let me know if that performance changed your mind on him a little bit. And next up against Chelsea. So, we move up. Obviously, Cardiff still have to play their match. Uh, Huddersfield as well. But sitting a bit like clear with... At least compared to the teams in the relegation zone. Uh, Huddersfield still have to play, of course. But... Uh, we're, we're a bit more clear, a bit more breathing space there. West Ham, Southampton, either team not really... Yeah, I don't think either would get relegated uh, this season, so result doesn't matter too much unless Southampton go on a bad, like a really bad run. But I do think they have the quality in their team to pick up the wins needed uh, to stay up and not be yeah, around that zone. So Douglas reaches the yellow card limit, so that's going to hurt us for the next match. It actually, it actually really is because when Barry Douglas doesn't play, our next level, um, Ruben uh, Vinigre, I'm going to have to think about a change if I'm going to bring him in. And there's something that springs to mind. So we'll we'll do that. Morgan Gibbs, why always? Yeah, he... he ooh, how about that training? He's training really, really well. Performing well, as you can see, also in Premier League 2, Division 2. Uh, he's he's getting some good results, non-competitive. Yeah, everything he's like his performances at the level he's playing it at, he's he's dominating. He's being a very very good player, so that's nice to see. Right now he is wanted. We see the loans are from these teams like Luton and Rotherham, like League One, uh, Rotherham League One. Yeah, he's a or the lower in the Championship, close enough. Uh, but yeah, you know what I mean. So that's that's a decent level for his age. Uh, for some interest, but right now he's training really well, developing really well, playing really well, so, oh, Cardiff win as well, so they push up into 12th, so that is huge, they're getting some results, aren't they, how about this form, look at their schedule, that's three wins in a row, after, they had no, nothing, like in the, like the Premier League results, there were just losses after losses, that big one against us, or we beat them 5-3, so, if you yeah, if you look back on that one, that was huge for us, like with a lot of own goals and <laughs> crazy. But defensive positioning, yeah, I guess 
We need a... Oh, Charles... This is going to be tough. This is not going to be an easy one. What an absolute shambles this club... No, Phil. Phil, like, a club is not a shambles because they get an injury. Really? His determination... Is that because he's got he got injured? His de determination's going down. What? A player gets an injury... It's not like, oh, okay. We have quite a few injuries. Okay. We've had three. But, what? Three weeks maximum. Jota, six weeks maximum. Then Bennett is... Was he longer term? Okay. It's... It's a few injuries, but yeah, I still wouldn't say a club is shambles because of an injury. Like, like that's n not why. Uh, Cody, we, we played him in a few matches, didn't we? Like, I mean, not too many, but... He, and he's listed as rotation. That's how we're kind of playing him. So, hopefully there's an option I can say someone... Yeah, Willy Bolly is in the form of his life. He hasn't been playing well. And that's what I think. Players don't... And he's been like our best defender, best center back, especially. So, you need to ask yourself. Uh, uh, I just have to say, I'm I'm gonna play him in the next few matches, but because yeah, when that doesn't work, the other options are just something he's gonna be disappointed with. So, unless you say you're gonna play him, that's how it goes. Unless you get pretty lucky with what you say, but like if you say what, well, um, like I'm your manager and what I say goes, that normally doesn't work too well, and then they want to leave. So I don't want to get to that point. So I'd rather just play him in a few matches and yeah, make sure his happiness is not yeah is not a concern for us and yeah causing bad problems. So <laughs> we just have to deal with it in that way. And he's he's not bad. I played him. I played him in a couple games already. So it's not like I don't like him as a player. Oh, Graham no longer wants a new deal. Does he say why? He recognised that his current contract. See, eventually it took him a bit of time. It took him a bit of time. But hey, it's it's only eight k. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's maybe because we're not playing too much, and he realizes. Yeah, but I do want to play him more. He just needs a bit more of the game time. He, he's okay. He's match sharp now. He yeah gets some um, under twenty threes performances. So who is this Paul Gladden? I thought he would be like valued a little bit, like in terms of selling him, because I don't think yeah he's he's another striker though. That's injured. <laughs> but, yeah, Chelsea Chelsea coming up. So, guys, I think I'll go with this style, with this 100% live Let's Play. Well, I'll do two games. I'll do two games each episode, and I think that will be all right. Let me know if you enjoy the style as well. And it's it's a good uh, kind of breath of fresh air, not worrying about editing. I can just get the videos out <laughs> for you guys because this is what I enjoy the most and why I will look to get into streaming soon when I make my move. Not too far away if you feel like I'm saying it a lot, but, yeah, uh, probably in the coming weeks. Uh, maybe a month maximum, but yeah, I just want you to know streaming is what I'm going to be doing long term. But over on Twitch, I'm I, I don't know. There's something I feel about like I feel like if I'm going to stream, I'm going to do it over on Twitch because I want to grow myself on like another platform. You know what I mean? To have another opportunity, uh, just in case YouTube doesn't work out, like for whatever reason, it's good to have that um, platform on like two <laughs> two different platforms. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it will be will be pretty good. And with uh, with Twitch, when you're streaming, people are kind of more. I suppose they make more donations because I don't really you don't get donations on YouTube. Like I don't even have like anything for that um, unless you live stream. Uh, I don't know why that's an extra kind of motivation for people to donate while you live stream, opposed to make videos. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, it's good. That's just like an extra yeah extra platform for me and to do YouTube full time, which I've always wanted to do. Like I've done it since 2012, regular videos and yeah, I'm, I'm like I say, I feel like uh, the work I've put in since then, I, I've deserved it. Like people have done it in less time and less overall videos. Like I've got over 2,000 videos on my channel, so. Yeah, I'm going to keep going, that is for sure. And what we will do is go straight into this game right now, but we're going to have to make some changes. So we're going to bring on Ruben, uh, Ruben Venegre there, but we will make a change, don't worry. We will make a change. So Diego, what, I'll do what I'm going to do here, but uh, it, it changes the tactic. That's that's the only that's the only issue. We're going to bring... Oh, but we don't have someone else to play left back. That's the problem. What I was thinking, we could play him there. What was I going to do? What was I going to do? If I was going to not play Diego Jota there, if I put Ruben Venegre and put him left midfield at winger, support, so he's his best role, I take him off here, but we need someone to play there. That's that's the issue. That's the issue we are 
Uh, we are forced with Barry Dudley. We can't choose him. We bring on Courtney House. Ah, uh, I think I know what we're going to do here. If we play him personalized as a defensive fullback, so he can just focus on that defensive role. He just play as defensive because he's more preferred as a center back. So I want him to be, yeah, uh, just focus on his defensive role. But yeah, you can see maybe we are a little, but don't forget, we've got a suspension in there as well. That's why he's missing. Uh, bring Miranda, just another. Oh, do we really need another defender though? Alfred and I, I'll play Connor Cody because we said we would. And uh, man, he's not even that good for his role. So no, sorry. I'm not just going to, I'm going to bring on Saiz actually to make that change. And okay. Let's say, I'm not sure what you guys think of this uh, bit of a different, a different setup here, but could work. Could work if we're focused and yeah, it's different setup, bit of a change, but Andre, Andre, yeah, that's what I was going to change. Let's put him a roaming, oh, roaming playmaker, that's a box to box. Let's try box to box, yep. Yeah. And not much any, other, yeah, not much changes I can make because, yeah, um, we got injuries, suspension, Barry Douglas, so let me know. Let me know. <laughs> hey, this is a very rare situation. This is a rare situation, but uh, maybe for a case when we're going to start Venegre, uh, maybe this could be a good set. Play him left midfield and a more like Courtney House. Maybe we could train him to be left back as that really defensive. But yeah, obviously Chelsea have their own unique formation, five at the back. So maybe, maybe just may. I'm not acting like we can actually beat Chelsea. Just pick up where we left off last time out. It's a good opportunity when we can say that tunnel, a change of, it's not a major change. We'll just have to see where we are. I don't want to give away too much information. Ooh, Hazard. Yeah, Hazard's missing. So that's good for us. Still unfair to signal out individuals. And once more, with our tactical our instructions, when we're playing this bigger team, I wanna I wanna wait the first ten minutes to see if we're actually a chance of like holding on to possession a little bit or if they're just dominating. Because I remember one uh, we were actually doing a ride, but as you can see, ooh, almost half it went up to. Obviously it's the first few minutes, so that happens. But imagine if we can get an early goal. Andre, Andre, man, that was a decent hit. He got that very sweetly. But that's the thing. With Chelsea, we're not going to get so many opportunities. We can't rely on getting so, so, so many opportunities like we did in the previous match against Leicester. Chelsea, yeah, we're definitely not going to get as much. So first 10 minutes, Chelsea haven't got a shot on target yet. See, that's what I mean. I feel, yeah, the style we, we play with. Oh, it's a free kick. Willian. Yes, we defend that. Now we need... This is the second set piece we need to work on uh, defending. Last few games have actually been decent. Uh, <laughs> we can judge off our last performance against Leicester. They didn't really look too dangerous, but I don't think they had many corners uh, to begin with. So that's a good thing. Not conceding corners in the first place. But oh, I feel like only, like only so many set pieces. But we win a free kick there, so we deal with it. Still only the one on target for Chelsea, about 30 minutes in. Uh, we're giving away too many fouls, but we're, we're not really conceding chances so much. So almost heading into half time, just well, almost five minutes to there. I just want to say, yeah, keep concentrate here. If we can get into the break, or oh, maybe with a lead, I was going to say if it's nil-nil, maybe we could. If you get a bit of luck, Andre, Andre, you know, he go, he goes for those shots so much. I was like, oh, not from there. Surely, Doherty, could we take a lead? Could we take a lead? Ruben Nevers, Alda Costa. Oh, no, no. Where was the highlight? There was no shot. There was no shot there. I thought we were going to maybe score. But if anything, like, it's even. I was going to say, oh, we've had maybe better chances. I'm not saying so many chances, but we've had a few half chances there. I thought, well, maybe there we're going to get a shot on target or something and look close to scoring. But I'm going to say, I'm happy with the performance. That was a great first half performance. Like, to me, that... Oh, I know we didn't score a goal, but you got to take a look at the opposition. It wasn't too much different in terms of how good it was from the first match against Leicester. Because I think scoring those goals against Leicester, but keeping a clean sheet for the first half against Chelsea, that's that's a very, very good thing. It's hard to compare them, though. Especially, yeah, we just got to see how the end of the match goes. I just paused there. It was, like, lagging a little bit. I don't know why the match. So, should be fine. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know 
why it was going like that. Like, come on, sort yourself out, FM. <laughs> no, it's not my computer. Come on. Sometimes it does that. Rarely. And that's why. If it, if it would happen, like, every single match, like, the gameplay lags, it would be, uh, yeah, the game, obviously. Uh, it will be the computer. If your computer is not good enough, it will be the same all the time. But when it's, yeah, just randomly <laughs> just lagging. But, guys, should be fine now. See what I mean? <laughs> Bonatini. Let's go. Take this opportunity. Come, ah, poor pass. Don't play it ahead of him. Well, guys, I say that. I say that, and I have passed into spaces. But normally, I want that for the wingers. Normally, I want that for the wingers. So it's a case where, yeah, sometimes that happens for a player that you don't exactly want. But now it's Moses. Come on. Oh, you got to clear this. Oh, we are lucky. We are lucky. But, hey, we're holding on. We're holding on. We. I'm just going to see it very tough for us to get a goal against Chelsea because they'll be very, very strong. Especially they play five at the back. Obviously, part of their style with the wing backs. But still, it makes it hard to break down. I think we've competed, though, guys. Uh, they've made it... Oh, Jack Wilshere. They signed Jack Wilshere, eh? Because he would have been... I think he would have been a free transfer in the save because he's leaving Arsenal. But let's see. Oh, Patricio, good save. Oh, see, House has been booked now. I'm going to take a look at the lineup. How the Costa. Jordan Graham, actually. How the Costa has been a good player, but I said I want to bring on Jordan Graham, get some game time into him. Oh, he's more preferred on that left side, though. How about if I bring. I feel, yeah, I just, hmm, nah, maybe, I want to give him a chance, but I don't feel he's the right change to make. Even Cavalero, it's like, the Cavalero to come on for Costa then, and then just play him as a winger, a winger on support, just get his best role, and then, if we take a look, obviously we've done this, oh, I don't know, man, play out of defense, go a bit more direct now, guys. And higher tempo, maybe just to surprise them. Maybe if we surprise and go back, like I said, like I did in the other match, actually, sit deeper. But when I change to these instructions, let's see. I think about it. Uh, you know, I sometimes I just think about it there for a second. Yep, I'll go with those changes. But it's going to be huge. We've gone 70 minutes without conceding against Chelsea. But... I can say that, but it will mean nothing if they score now. Very close, very close, but they still haven't. They still haven't, and let's see. Let's see. I think one of those central mids we might take off. Ruben Saiz, yeah, deep line playmaker, uh, play him on defend. Ne oh. Andre Andre are going to have to leave on. He's a bit more experienced than Ruben Neves, as good. And we'll bring on Connor Cody. Yeah, drop back, defensive mid. He may not have that. Uh, sorry, uh, he uh, he may not have that natural role. But ball winning mid, ball winning mid on support. I like the mix. I like the mix of these guys, and then Doherty. Yeah, we'll we'll leave him defensive fullback on defend as well. Maybe it's this point where we have to. I'm still going to stay on standard. Like it's like no matter who we're playing against, I never want to completely go defensive if we don't have a lead because I always want that chance I always want that chance to score so if we're gonna play this style I'd love to see just as a, at a minimum to get a point from this right now and we do have that one more sub of it see Alfred and I I'd like better to be honest <laughs> it's like I just brought on Connor Cody but Nah, maybe. Maybe we'll do that, like, defensive style when I still look for that counter. So we sit deep. Don't need to go much. I will still leave direct. And we'll clear the ball to the flanks. And we'll go that style. Take a look for the overlap off. They won't utilize that now. Be more disciplined. And then, yeah, we we can't really take house off. We don't have that left-sided type. Yeah, because Ruben Vinigre, we have him in that, in that role. And... Yeah, no one's really striking me as a change. Well, apart, yeah, if we take off Doherty and we bring on, yeah, Domi Orfa, he'll be, he'll be good. 
Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. I think... Oh, but Patricio's looking nervous. Mates, please, please don't be nervous. And we'll just tighten up there. That final shout, I think. Oh, could we? Could we steal it? Oh, no, man. We always have those opportunities too. But it just... Ah, oh, man, that was good. He had... He wasn't like manned up or like the, the marking on him wasn't too tight. And this could be, this could be the difference. Will Chelsea take their opportunity? No, it's Christensen. Man, I just, that chance from the corner was really good. That's the type of chance we would probably realistically need to take against a type like Chelsea. Maybe like get a set piece, get a set piece winner. But how good like because we've gone this long oh come on bonatini bonatini oh you would have been so huge to score there man like i think a lot of people's opinions on you part of our team would have changed even for me personally okay vinegary jr weak weak like this is such this is just like five minutes, about five minutes left in the match. We can forget about our opposition, forget about it's Chelsea. Like, a late winner can obviously, yeah, get us the three points, which will be huge here. Like, we're so close to that. But obviously, it's a goal early in the match. Chelsea have a lot of time to get that back, you know what I mean? But here, yeah, there wouldn't be much time left at all. So, that's what I mean, if we steal it. As happy as I would be to take the point, let's go a bit defensive. But, you know, when the highlights come up, you want to have that chance. You want it to be your way. And I he, I really don't want it to be that situation where I want to praise our performance for the whole match. It means nothing if we don't get something from it. It's good to see, but I want to get a result for it. Bonatini, Cavallero, come on. Whip it in. Cody, Vinegre Jr., what are you doing? Oh, my God. No, actually, what were you trying to do? That would, that position was unbelievable he was in. Did he just choke? Did he just choke? Man. Did he just choke? How was it that bad? It was like he, it was, he was passing it to the corner flag. Like, oh my god. Like, the position he was just... I can't believe it. I can't believe it, the position he was in. Now, oh, look at the space is opening. Oh, my God. We we have had so many chances here. It is not funny. It is not funny, the opportunities we've had right now. Man. Oh, I feel like we deserve to be 1-0. We deserve to be 1-0 right now. But maybe then you say, oh, your players weren't good enough to score. So, it's both ways. Mmm. But I feel what I've done as a manager, tactically, to get a result, to get a win. Ah, man. We've had the opportunities. Mm, that's a bit of a frustrating thing to see your players not step up. But I can't criticize them because defensively we've been so good today. And Chelsea obviously bring that pressure. And it, it does look like, oh, no. <sighs> <laughs> Rui Patricio did it there, did the save, but I, I feel a little bit like we're, we've missed something from the match where a draw I would have taken, and I wouldn't even think we got to not concede against Chelsea, but then how the match has played out, like, yeah, a goal is not going to come now. This late, uh, in the highlight, surely not, nah, and... I just have that, you know, you have that weird feeling where this is not a match you expected to win, but with the chances, you feel like your players should at least finish one of them. That was it. Oh, my God. This could have been a huge one. And how about that? We had to, like, Ch we had to make Chelsea rely on a, a player of the match performance from Thibaut Courtois. How about, like, I'm, that makes me happy. Like, he had to pull out his best saves Maybe not his best saves, but that's what they had to rely on. Their best player was their keeper. That's what we, like, brought out of Chelsea. That's huge. And I feel like we deserve the three points for that, mate. Like, oh, that's annoying. Like, wow. What a performance. We can't disregard the performance. But I feel three points was there, and it would have been a huge one. Look at this, man. Chelsea labor to draw. One of the league's best defensive continue their fine form. Chelsea, obviously, maybe would have been a different story if they're not playing that certain formation with five at the back. But 
we still cre- we still got through them anyway. And like I says, yeah, Chelsea labour to draw. <laughs> Arguably, we were the better side. It seems like it was pretty even. But like I said in a previous episode, when we make it an even game against a better side, it feels like we're better. But oh, guys, those two, I can't, yeah, I can't be too disappointed. We kept two clean sheets in a row. These two games where we hadn't done for the whole season. How about that? So we've made the right change. That's why I always have faith. Like the first few games, like I always get comments like in my videos, like if I'm not like getting exact results or maybe a few little things, but I always have faith in the way I'm playing and I always, yeah, turn, and that should have been like three points against Chelsea. Could have like snuck a one nil. Oh man, especially that, oh Ruben, that's why, man. Oh, Ruben Vinegre there. He, he's training well, everything like that. He's just, fin- I just don't know what he tried there. Because maybe he tried to cross it in. I think we had a player there, but... And he scored a good goal earlier this season as well, didn't he? Or it counted, it counted as an own goal, so I had a deflection, but... Ah, I, I just feel so hard done by. That would have been so great to sneak. Like, that would have been... Like, seeing the results in this episode is absolutely huge, but hopefully see at least the performances go down as that. So, yeah, everyone's played... Well, everyone below us at least has played the nine, so that's fair enough. Uh, we can say we are clear. We're at least like a game, like three points clear, like a win clear of the bottom around the relegation zone. Still annoyed <laughs> that we couldn't beat Chelsea. And I feel we deserved it, but we'll leave it there, guys. Drop a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.